Creations, Uncle Al, Camera Boy, Camera Boy. How you doing? Glad How's to have everyone? you back. How's everyone? How um, is everyone? Yeah, yeah. Never Can't an answer. Hear you. Never an answer. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, that, that branch is a bit pokey. Uh, yeah. Well, welcome to this uh, question and answer episodal piece of filming. Yeah. We decided to stay in the forest. It's Lazy. pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we actually? We are at, now I always get this wrong, this is Swinsty Reservoir. This one's so Swinsty, is it? We're not going to show you the water. The problem is, is that it's quite a popular reservoir. We've tucked ourselves away in the forest a little bit, just to get out of the flow of kind of human traffic, if you like. Um, maybe we'll take the gimbal and... Do you think? We filmed some stuff in here before anyway, okay, haven't well, we? So we've got... <laughs> Cut to that! And rolling. Sorry, can we restart that? I was hideously out of focus. Probably better. <laughs> I'm still running. having a discussion and you know this is the thing where we're at you know we're we're hovering around 230 subscribers we love each and every one of you this is a serious endeavor um, you know we're not unrealistic enough to know that you know we're not just going to jump to you know a thousand subscribers you know 2,000 subscribers um, but you know this is something that we're trying to fit in around our lives as well. It's something we really enjoy doing. Uh, we have a great laugh doing it. Um, the ideas and the silly concepts that we're coming up with, I mean, it's just like, a, it's almost like a torrent of stupidity, isn't it? Uh, and, uh, you know, you're, hopefully you're going to join us for all that. And, you know, we're really looking forward to moving forward. But... Yeah. I mean, so what we're going to do is we're going to try some different types of things. Yeah. And... Some of those are going to be short little projects where we teach you how to make a... Well, a shelf was one we've discussed. So we make a shelf. How do you make a shelf out of wood? But then, because our ethos is... Bigger, crazier, sillier stuff. Passion. Oh, pa yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm that. Passion. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. No, I think, you know, adding... You know, it's really difficult because we had this discussion, didn't we? And it was over the phone, which isn't great anyway. And, well, we are a how-to channel. And, you know, obviously, you know, as things progress and build, um, you know, you're going you're gonna to ask us questions about kind of specifics about a project. Maybe it's a project that you're like, oh, well, I've thought about making something like that. You know, I was really interested in how you did this part of it. And we'd be more than happy to kind of tell you exactly how we did it, you know, probably till you're bored silly with it. And, you know, whether we do a video about little, you know, fuming was something we might return to. You know, a few people were interested in that. Yeah, we might I do mean, a little tutorial maybe. But what we decided is no one is going on YouTube and saying... How do I make a throne? No one's doing that. Yeah. People might find us if they go, how do I make a shelf? They see that. Yeah. They see Al make a shelf in his own style and it's got all the blending of joinery and amateur, amateur blacksmithing. blacksmithing. Yeah, yeah. And, Be very careful uh, to say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't offend Al. Well, no, there's a lot of really good blacksmiths out there that will be shocked by the kind of stuff I'm doing, I'm sure. But, you know, it's, it's having a go and trying. Yeah, and that's part of it as well. I completely lost my train of thought. Where was I going with that? I think we should start that whole thing again, actually. Dreadful. <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to make some stuff that is more youtube friendly so quicker projects snappier some of that relates to part of what was actually in this episode 
So in the episode that you've just watched, Al makes the little shield that is part of the furniture that goes on the throne. Oh, and yeah, we yeah. go through all the processes, yeah. which ties into a question that I have for Al. Making that shield yes. would make a really good how-to because there's lots of different stages to it. There's designing yeah. it, cutting it out of the steel, then you grind it, and then you sand it, and then you drill the holes, and then you take the chain, and then you forge in bits. Could someone who didn't have all the kit that you have achieve that if you were talking about just making the shield um yes absolutely you know you can go out there and you can buy yourself a 35 quid uh handheld orbital grinder at that point go out there find yourself a little bit of scrap steel whatever whatever gauge it might be whatever thickness it might be um i urge people to make templates scribe around it cut it out uh, bang, there you go, you've got your little friend. You know, make one of those, you know, countersink some drilled holes in it, scratch your name on it, stick it on your bedroom door. So, but yeah, you could very, very easily, very cheaply, with very minimal kit, you could cut yourself out a steel shield to your own design. Cool. Well, maybe if we did a tutorial about that type of thing, maybe that would be of interest to you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe unboxing our new plasma cutter and yeah, just yeah. unboxing it and then doing a little test for it and going this is how it works this is what i think of it would you be interested in that yeah there's other things that we're thinking of doing smaller little projects like Snappier stuff how do i make a chopping board mm -hmm. get al to show you how to make a chopping board in his style yeah or i've got one i'd quite like a wooden toilet seat really wouldn't that be quite cool Oh, I don't know. I never think wooden toilet seats are the greatest idea because they've Why? got a grain and it's like all the bits of poo get into the grain or you wee on it and then it's like saturated in urine and you're like... Ooh. Well, I try not to wee over the... Well, you know, it happens, doesn't it? You know, but you've had a few shandies, haven't you? You know what I mean? I know you spraying your wee all over the place like an animal. Uh, I, I ain't the drinker here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait. Um, watch it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. A wooden toilet seat. Just go and buy one. They're only 30 quid. No, but if you designed one that was cool, can you cut? Uh, well, like a with... steel one or something. No, but just like the act of creating something out of wood that you could put to practical use. A, a bread bin. A bread bin toilet seat. <laughs> that is a sh idea. <laughs> Um, uh, a toilet seat, I don't know, I'm going to shy right. away from a toilet seat, but a bread bin, yeah, you know, yeah. We, we also had a thought, which comes actually from Tammy. Oh, yeah, okay. And Tammy's Tammy, mum yeah. oh, hang said... On. Hang on. It's still not working, is it? Need to take it into the shop. Yeah. But Tammy's mum said perhaps we could make items that are related to holidays. For example something that we could make for Christmas and then you could make it and maybe okay. give it as a gift or if you're too lazy for that you could buy it from us would that be something you'd be interested in say would yes. it say yes would it say yes anyway you could also do it for like Halloween and stuff yeah yeah and yeah. then we could bring your f skulls in ah oh, man yeah I enjoy making those I don't know what what's going on at the, I've always like been you know as a kid I used to draw skeletons and I used to love it so pirate um, heritage well maybe maybe something like that uh, my work has been called by one client in particular piracy piracy and I quite liked it actually I was like yeah I don't know why when people pirates gave shit, Vikings you know yeah all the rough whimsical, and tumble bits yeah, of history whimsical bits of stuff fables yeah. and legend Ooh. I did want to scratch something like Wotan onto the throne. The throne of Wotan. Uh, you but actually give the throne a name in this no, last episode. Thronad. <laughs> yeah, because I bust a nad making it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, that was a mashup word, by the way, of throne and nad. No. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Children might be watching. Yeah, I think thronad's all right, isn't it? Gonad is actually a scientific term for your sexual parts, mate, be they male or female. Yeah, I don't think we want to make it all sexual. Yeah, well, no, definitely not. Not yeah. after all of that business in that film anyway. God, that was too much. Made myself hot under the collar. Whew. Anyway, right, uh, Q&As. Yes, so... Q&As, Q&As, we're doing some Q&As. <laughs> Lovely. Don't cut to that. Just do it the won't. sound. It won't, that will sit underneath the graphic. <laughs> yeah. All right, good, yeah. <laughs> da, da, da. 
the Q and A's, answering Come questions on, posed on. by you. Oh, that was a bit yeah, well, Whoa. gravelly. Oh, yeah. Can I harmonise? <laughs> you were Barry. What's the big singer? Barry White. Ba- Barry White. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, Q and A's, Q and A's, answering Q questions A's. people pose. Looks like it's going to rain now, actually. It was supposed to. All oh, right. So, um, well, we might have to cut this short, but anyway, let's let's chew through these questions for right. you. Next bit is we had a little bit where you did a little experiment with some copper sulfate, and it's sort of like, oh, what's this nonsense? In the film that's just gone, we go back to it, and you show how you've created a little bit of verdigris. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah, yeah. some copper. Well, actually, what we were doing there, if you remember, is we we had this issue, so we'd welded those. Um, that's that's where I was getting to. Okay. That all ties into finishing metalwork. And yes. you have something in your pocket, don't you, son? Oh, I do actually, yeah. And something I've wanted to do for a long time is casting. And the other day we took a little... Um, let's just see if we can get in there. No, it won't focus. What I did was I went on Amazon, I bought myself a little crucible. It was £4.50, which is probably $6 with delivery. We've got the forge. This was a door handle, a brass door handle. I chopped it up into small pieces, popped it into the crucible, popped the crucible into the forge, bang, we've melted brass. Do so some... what can you do with that now then? Well, this, I mean, essentially I didn't know. What I was looking at is what happened the other day, I was working on a project, I had some copper rivets, I put the copper rivets into the forge, and when I came back to the forge, probably about 10 or 15 minutes later... They were gone. I, no, they weren't gone, unfortunately. They're all melted into one. I was like, oh my word, that means that that forge is getting up to about 1,000 degrees or 900 degrees. And that made me think, oh right, we can, we can melt copper, which I've wanted to do for a long time. Copper melts at somewhere around 900 degrees. Brass melts a little bit, um, a, a slightly less than that. So it's easier to melt brass than it is copper. And I was like, okay, well, actually brass is probably a more useful alloy than copper. But I think we're going to return to it. Yeah, because you mentioned copper plating. Yeah, copper plating. Copper plating in relation to the sea chest project. Yeah, the chest we, we, it and smashing it into yeah. the yeah. I well, mean, I've done that before with steel. You heat the steel up to red hot and drop copper sulfate on the top, and it creates spots of copper. So that's and it looks different from cruising. copper plating. D- d- very different, yeah. But we could probably just about. I think with copper sulfate, we could probably just about copper plate as well. We've got the. Uh, I bet we could we could rig that up. So that all that little section leads into a whole bit about finishing the metal work. Yeah. Because yeah. as we mentioned in the previous Q and A. I was worried. I thought he'd ballsed it. Yeah, it, I, yeah, I was feeling that as well. Um, you know, it, it was. It's a bit rough for that point in the yeah, job. It, it seems a bit basic. Y- there was just like smoke, and you set the throne on fire, bashing a red hot rivet into it, and it's yeah. just burning and smoking out, and then welding, and then There's grinding out on. all the holes, and it's just smoke and everything. It's like I thought we were finishing this. Yeah, we we took and it back, but yeah, we maybe you know I think maybe we rushed a little bit, and after we'd fumed it, did we fume it too early? I don't think we wanted to fume it with the steel components in position because I think they might have tarnished, or they might have even started to rust with the ammonia fumes because there would have been a a water content and we left it all out outside and the thing about things that have been in the forges um, if you don't get like a wax finish on them or a lacquered finish they do tend to rust very quickly afterwards Mm. so I didn't want that to happen and it's maybe that might have been quite a cool finish to have it all rusted yeah but essentially all these finishing processes and all the little experiments that you did it sort of led you to a solution which we're gonna show in the next episode and in the Stick next workers. episode, the throne is finished. Ah, I bet you're all breathing a sigh of bloody relief. Yeah. I know I am. Uh, looking forward to the next one, though. Not the next throne, because we're now at a point where it, like, I feel that we're being pressured into making another throne. We might do that to make a Don't partner do well for with the being chat. pressured, do you? Uh, you you know, come out fighting and well, punching like the, this. You know, it's like anything. I love, a, I love you know variety is the spice of life as they say and it's like it's all well and good making a throne and i think i might just need a little bit of a break before we make another one nobody tells you what to do nobody tells our watson how to dance (laughs) yeah uh, yeah um that was a film quote there for all those film booths out there was it yeah i think so nobody tells baby how to dance oh to sit in a corner (laughs) anyway you're right. mangling that. <laughs> Am I? Good. <laughs> On Good, so I, many I've levels. I've never you're... seen the bloody thing, but I know baby doesn't sit in a corner. <laughs> oh.
Nobody puts baby in a corner. Awesome. Nobody thing. puts baby in Nobody the corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. And you should Nobody be watching puts, that film. Well, You've I got a rough and tough either. pirate Viking <laughs> oh, persona I've ruined, to I've ruined to. myself now, haven't I? People are, people are going to be desubscribing or unsubscribing. Does that mean we have to do like the dirty dancing bit in the background there no. where I catch you? Yeah. And... Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> I wish we could actually do that. Maybe you could do it with I can't special lift yeah, you. No. <laughs> no. He's so big he can't be kidnapped. <laughs> no, well, yeah, thanks, Sergi, for that one, by the way. That's a good comeback. Um, well, I think that's it. Next time, cool. <coughs> we won't be in the wood. No, we'll be somewhere else. We'll We've be got... talking about wood somewhere else. Yeah. Because well, we can't see the forest for the trees. Oh. Other oh. wood puns. Yeah. Uh, would you give me one? Would you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do it again from a forest. <laughs> I think yeah. it's time for you to leaf. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah, that's a good one. It is as well. No, uh, um, no, no. We're we'll gonna. Try, we'll try and. We'll just. We're gonna see. back yeah. in time and we're gonna do the thing again. <laughs> we need a good sign off, know, don't we? We're struggling there. We're doing. Um, uh, ciao for now. That's garbage. Catch you on the flip side. Flippity flip. <laughs> we'll tree you later.